on this panel discussion. Uh, I'm Tracy. Hey, thanks. Great to have you all here. Yeah. Hey, hey Tracy. Thanks guys. for having us. Hey. Nice hey. to meet you guys. <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Great. So I'll go over to the forward to our first question. So recent years have uh, witnessed all kinds of innovation and experimentation with wallets. So how can we build the core value of wallets based on user needs? I start uh, from uh, Marcus. So. Okay. So as we all know that wallet is the portal to blockchain world and its base functions are access, storage, transfers, and management. And users' needs are based on these basic requirements. And to build a core value, we need to find out what we can do around the access mm -hmm. and provide the features to the users as well as make it as easy as possible to use. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do in many ways uh, like what we have already done on Token Pocket to make transfer easier. We mm -hmm. build the gas stations for Trump users mm -hmm. to play the Trump DeFi. Uh, easier, we integrated just swap into token park uh, natively, and we recommend the hottest charm device to charm users mm -hmm. at a charm depth sections, and also to cash in and cash out easier. We integrate USDT and charm via gateway for users, mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So, San, if you can share your ideas here. Uh, yeah, I, I strongly believe that uh, currently the, the wallet are kind of a part of our daily life right mm -hmm. now. And from an exchange perspective, we really need to have a kind of a really good custodian solutions. Mm -hmm. And then from the user perspective, the current blockchain wallet are really more interesting compared to a few years back. Previously, mm -hmm. we only used for the blockchain wallet as a kind of a storage and then mm -hmm. transfer. Nowadays, we can see the wallet as a kind of d apps staking DeFi, and then wherever you need and then i believe future in the coming soon with the blockchain wallet will be a part of our personal bank and then access management as well even on the kind of our part of our identity so this can be probably like really coming soon and then we'll uh, see more later. okay All right sounds interesting yeah so paul if you have anything to add on this question yeah i believe i believe that uh, this is a very good question because uh what really cust our customers need uh, i mean their core values is uh, quite simple they mm -hmm. like the decentralization that that's because most likely that's because they're in crypto they like they love the privacy and uh, the thing that this, the the whole system is trustless mm -hmm. and what we try to do in border we always try to ask our customers uh, what actually do you want to have mm -hmm. and usually we take the polls and actually they influence our roadmap mm -hmm. and we're taking it also further uh, we right now are going to issue our token which will be uh, the form of the governance of our uh, features, mm -hmm. uh, feature roadmap. Uh, so uh, we believe that uh, this is, uh, we are, we, we can be compared to a bank, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, but but not the bank. So the, the, the best thing to describe us is the bank, but not the bank. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do, we want our customers to be able to decide actually which features do they want mm -hmm. and mm. this is uh th this is what we always try to ask them and right now we're also issuing a token which uh they will receive simply for using the mm -hmm. wallet and what they will be able to do with this uh, token is actually to influence uh the uh the decisions we're making in 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 terms of uh the roadmap mm -hmm. so i believe this is this is the best way to go if we're talking about how can we implement the values that mm -hmm. our customers mm -hmm. have? Thank you very much. And my following question here is, uh, like we all know like uh, most of wallets in the market today are multi-platform or let's say multi-assets, right? And also support other functions such as uh, purchasing and the swapping assets um, in inside the wallet. So how can we explore more use cases and further extend the functionality of wallets? So let's start from, uh, yeah, uh, let's start from 
Marcus again. Yeah, from Token Pocket. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, to explore more use use cases, we should find out what the users need to manage their assets. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to send, to earn, to play, or some other needs. Based on this, we can provide features that allow users to do the the stuff they want, like a via gate to help them cash in and cash out, mm -hmm. a decentralized exchange, uh, AMM like just uh, just swap mm -hmm. to trade. Mm -hmm. uh, but not only uh, the common assets, but also some uh, synthetic assets. And to learn land and borrow a, uh, a land and borrow protocol, like just land, not only land and borrow, but also uh, can be a uh, collaterals to, uh, to make some uh, stable coins. And also a financial service help users to earn this data to get easier and safer. Mm -hmm. uh, without understanding the complex uh, of blockchain and DeFi knowledge, mm -hmm. we could saw the users into many kinds and learn from traditional industries and mm -hmm. bring them to the on chain and enrich the functionality and use case of the wallet and the blockchains. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Thank you very much. And the sun, uh, your take. Uh, yeah, thanks for the question. That's a pretty interesting question, to be honest. Uh, actually, we are start seeing uh, there's a quite a lot of. Mm -hmm. I couldn't uh, I couldn't hear you clearly. Yes. So so maybe your connection Sorry. not good. We more or less a Hello. wallet address compared to last year. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we got the two times compared in the this year, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, basically, but the, the problem that we're seeing, like the wallet are still not very user friendly enough mm -hmm. and probably we need to improve on that part so mm -hmm. that you know, we need to have a kind of a still have a little bit high entry barrier for a beginner and so that they may not aware of that if we did, if they do not give a private key, they probably lost all their access. Mm -hmm. But I, I think uh, more on the other other hand, then the order of wallet are improving and they're very user friendly and easy to use, and more and more real world application and uh, a lot of industrial player coming in like Visa and the paper are really really helpful to mm -hmm. this industry. Mm -hmm. And then uh, previously, if we are going to buy a coffee in the Starbucks with our wallet, is kind of almost impossible because of mm -hmm. the blockchain uh, confirmation time. But now with uh, this kind of player coming in and then we are more closer to the our real world application basically mm -hmm. which is really mm -hmm. cool and just uh, kind of uh, this kind of mid player and a big player are kind of a really healthy on our industry and then that will be our further use case will be coming to our wallet applications basically and will mm -hmm. be helpful to the industry mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that's my take yeah. thank you thank you very much and the poll so your, your ideas on this? Yeah, I believe this is a very uh, this is a very competitive field. I mean, creating mm -hmm. wallets, and uh, there are lots of wallets on the market. Mm -hmm. But uh, we see that uh, most of the needs that customers actually have, no one actually su succeeds in uh, delivering the, the features they want, because receive and send. This is understandable. And this is not something that can bring you up in this uh, competition. Now, what we right now see is the emergence of DeFi. Mm -hmm. And when I say DeFi, I don't mean only the, uh, the borrow and uh, deposit thing. Mm -hmm. I mean all of the custody-free exchanges. I mean also the staking uh, and all these uh, various... Uh, the use cases that we mm -hmm. have right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I I would say that I do not believe that we won't we will be able to pay with uh, uh, crypto in Starbucks in the near future because mm -hmm. I don't see any um, any demand on that. But if you go to let's say e-commerce, crypto would be perfect to to use there. Mm -hmm. And if you are able to uh, link all the payments from your website to some kind of DeFi protocol where you law you you get the loan uh, in accordance to 
to the funds you receive on a monthly basis, that would be nice. And this is a good use case. Mm -hmm. So supporting, uh, let's say, this DeFi uh, protocols and uh, DeFi in general mm -hmm. is uh, crucial for uh for the wallets from our perspective mm -hmm. and uh, this is our main focus for the moment we really really try to support all the DeFi uh we see on the market and for example we support definitely we support drone staking for example and, yeah. Uh, and all this yeah I, I mean it's it's also important for for wallets to uh to i mean integrate lots of features uh, like in different uh uh, very, very trending uh, factors. For example, like uh, NFT, we talk about the crypto, uh, crypto art, right? So uh, recently some wallet also integrated this crypto art concept into their wallet. So people, if I hold one NFT art, so I could see also through the wallet where I, I can check it, right? So how it looks like. It. I mean, this is a very interesting, uh, interesting thing for me. I don't know if you guys, uh, your wallets also have those kind of functions to follow the trend. I mean, especially for Paul, you have your Guada, right? Guada wallet. So you, su you support this kind of function, right? Yeah, we, we already support NFT. Uh -huh. And actually, we support some art as well. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, these uh, this are Estonian local artists yeah. uh, who... Uh, paint for us uh, Bitcoin pictures. So I, I, I hope in some time uh, we will tokenize them and <laughs> try selling yeah. them as, a, yeah, yeah. as an NFT. Uh, but actually, uh, not only NFT is great, we, we support NFT already. And you can, for example, see your Crypto Kitty, uh, uh -huh. or yeah, uh, yeah. There, are, there, there are, I think, five NFTs that are supported mm -hmm. in our wallet. And if you have a crypto kitty, you can see it in the interface actually if you have it on the address uh, that yeah. you use in Guardian Wallet. Uh, but I believe that NFT is uh, is one of the uh, major uh, points where our industry can grow uh -huh. because this okay. is nice if you have, uh, let's say you play uh, the game and you have some magic sword that, uh -huh. is, that makes you super awesome in the MMORI RPG that you play. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and it, it actually costs something uh, for you and for other players mm -hmm. as well. Uh, and you can, for example, using DeFi, you can get a loan uh, putting this uh, magic sword into collateral. When I think about such use cases, I believe that there is a huge uh, there is a huge new market that is opening right now, uh, which is uh, highly undervalued at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we, we, we see the demand there. Uh, unfortunately, we're lacking uh, projects that are actually using uh, non-fungible tokens. Mm -hmm. And we, we look at, uh, at this uh, market uh, niche. Uh, and as soon as uh, big projects appear, I think the same day we will start creating more and more features for that. And one of okay. the first will be uh, the DeFi for the NFT. <laughs> I strongly yeah. believe in that. Yeah, we go a little bit further, but uh, that, 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 that's also a nice question, answer. Thank you very much. So uh, my next question is, uh, as we expect the blockchain technology to and go with every aspect of our lives in the future. So how can we upgrade the blockchain wallets? I mean, let's start uh, this time from San. Uh, you can share a little bit. Uh. Uh, sure. So uh, my take is like, I, I really think the wallet will be really become a part of our daily life mm -hmm. and then part of our access holder mm -hmm. and then kind of a mini bank. And definitely the, the whole ecosystem need to be built up. The, uh, definitely, like Paul say, currently e-commerce probably the, the best use case. Mm -hmm. And definitely for the, those kind of things, like in order to e-commerce to improve, that we need to build up the ecosystem like Amazon or eBay, they start accepting mm -hmm. the wallet. And we can start seeing that Shopify or WooCommerce, they already have some plugin yeah. for the accepting the crypto crypto access. And then mm -hmm. I might, I have my own website and then I start implementing with that, those kind of WooCommerce uh, accepting the crypto assets as well. So this will be the car uh, next trend that we probably start seeing people start using the crypto assets. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, other than that, uh, if I think in the future, it can be like NFT can be uh, out of our mortgage. And then if we finish the mortgage and we own a flat and it will be one of our M NFT and it really go into our wallet and then we can show everything mm. and uh, even our medical and private information will be in our wallet. Mm. So it's a part of our identity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think wallet will be going into the really part of our daily life mm. compared to our Mm -hmm. other part of our life okay thank you very much and uh, markers from a token part side token pocket sorry okay <laughs> so where do you see that mm. okay okay uh, so as a world provider uh the most important thing to is to keep the users keys safe and help them uh, sign transactions mm -hmm. and try to make it easier to use mm -hmm. so to upgrade it we have many parts uh that we can do so on the u user experience side uh, the easier is the better mm -hmm. so make it almost the same as the traditional uh, internet product mm -hmm. uh, what the users understand uh, the user can understand it when they are using it they don't have to understand uh, which chain they're using and what kind of technology is behind so mm -hmm. um, to make it easier is better and on the server side, provide as many say, uh, safe blockchain related products as possible. Learn about the user's uh, requirements and list the, all the depths and device as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And a quick response uh, customer service, uh, even integrate the AI customer service to answer all the questions because uh, we know that there are a lot of newbies coming to the uh, blockchain and they don't understand what blockchain is uh -huh, and they okay. should uh, there, there should be a portal for them to, to uh, ask questions uh -huh. and they can learn from there yeah and from the technology side i think that we should follow up the community community uh what is to integrate chains and features that are needed from the community uh -huh. like layer two side chain and any other uh, extended protocols. Uh, we should also follow up the technologies like touch ID, face ID, sound mm -hmm. ID, uh, which could be integrated into the wireless, like what we have already done. Yeah, and we, we can also open our imaginations that in the future, people don't have to understand what every kids, they don't have to learn about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, they just they can, and and we can believe that the wireless could be part of our body. I it maybe can be our fingerprint, our face, and other other uh biomedical measures. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. that's it. That, that that will be interesting in the future if it's just uh, that uh, user friendly, right? So so yeah, Paul. Uh, yeah, if you have anything to add here, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So uh, actually, how can we improve the wallets in general? Not the not my my company's product, but yeah, mm -hmm. but in general, I had two things about the wallets. Mm -hmm. I actually hate it every time I launch my wallet. I hate it more. Uh, the first thing is I don't like the keys, the uh -huh. way they are okay. generated right now. I simply hate it because you need to write down something. There is no proper way to back up, and there is nothing you can do about it as a wallet mm -hmm. provider so there should be some standards about that mm -hmm. and we should make it simpler and we should make it uh, much more convenient for an average user because mm -hmm. today i've explained it to my friend we had a dinner today and he's from an aviation industry so he, okay. he's far far away from that mm -hmm. and i tried to explain him what is what are the keys how to, how to back up and this is almost impossible he's quite young but yeah. still the concept is such a such a sophisticated thing mm -hmm. that he couldn't understand i have to spend 30 minutes but i cannot educate every cu customer for mm -hmm. 30 minutes by my own oh. that simply won't uh, work mm -hmm. so this is the first thing i don't like about the wall uh, how can we upgrade the wallets in okay. general is the first thing. 
is to create a new format of the private key, mm-hmm. the, of, of their storage and of their backup. Mm-hmm. And the sec- second thing is, uh, is to create another format of the address. It is mm-hmm. impossible to use the current address. It, it, is, uh, it is some pile of uh, numbers and uh, letters which uh, my mom won't understand and I want her to, to be able to transfer me money and me to be able to transfer her money. Okay. So this is also an overcomplicated concept. But here we have a solution with the human readable addresses. And as this is my strong belief that we need to integrate that, we have integrated uh, in Guarda Wallet, we simply mm-hmm. integrated all popular protocols of human readable addresses. Mm-hmm. But what I see right now, we need some kind of an effort from all the wallets to integrate them because otherwise we won't be having uh, a proper solution. And yeah. actually we are decreasing the speed of the, uh, of the adoption. Uh, so these are two, from my perspective, main uh, goals to upgrade all the wallets. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, guys, for sharing. We look forward to seeing crypto wallets with better functionality and conveniences. Okay, as you said, said maybe later on in the future, we can just uh, easily remember our address, right? Just like right now, we remember our telephone number or mobile phone number, right? That easy. So we also expect a better decentralized storage service to come. So thank you again for this uh, panel discussion with us. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. Okay, thank you for your time, our panel. Uh, thank you. Later in the, yeah. Uh, see you. Thank here. you, that was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, thank Bye-bye. you. Yeah.